freaking excited for today's video. I'm... I have no words. Ah! Hi guys, welcome to today's video. As you can tell, it is another video for me this week because something super exciting happened and I had to share this haul with you. And as you can guess by the thumbnail and title, it is another Lush collection, which is the Lush Mother's Day and Easter haul. Yay! So I went into my store before work and I bought basically everything that I wanted to try for myself. There is a lot this year. There is so many Mother's Day products I couldn't physically pick everything up and I didn't even pick every single piece of product up. I just focused on things that I would use myself and ones that I'm personally excited for rather than buy everything basically for the sake of showing it in the video. But even with that, it came to about £100 anyway. So I basically went a bit crazy. <laughs> there is a lot of bath, there is a couple of shower products as well and a majority of the shower this year is actually naked which is super exciting and there is one shower scrub which I really really am excited for and I'll probably use it tonight after I film this video <laughs> and taking pictures of course for my last Instagram which is at last year which I'll leave as a link in the description box below so before we get into this exciting haul apologies if my voice does sound croaky I kind of have a cold but not I don't have a runny nose or anything I just have a weird throat so when I talk it croaks so let's get that out of the way and if you guys want to see what I went mad over then like, carry watching so i'm looking at everything now and i got one bubble bar and the other ones were the cream eggs which were out last year but the bubble bar i got is actually mother's day i got one two three four five six bath bombs and three naked shower butt bits and one shower scrub and I think I'm going to start with shower, so I always like to leave the bath stuff to the end because it's probably the most exciting. And I might as well start with a shower scrub because this is a Mother's Day product and it is Mamma Mia! And it's so pretty and you've got loads of rose clay in here, so it's really cleansing, Himalayan salt which is the natural exfoliant and you've also got pink grapefruit puree so it is really uplifting and it is bright pink it is my aesthetic guys it's my actual aesthetic and it smells so sweet and uplifting if spray was like put into a product it would be the shower scrub because it reminds me of spring like tulips bright sun sniff it all day if you liked yummy mummy and prince charming then you'll probably like this because it is that kind of vanilla sweet scent there is vanilla in here as well and if you are fans of snow fairy tale gel as well this is a good alternative if you use up your stock already so look how bright pink it is and i actually love the name i do want to sing a bit of abba but i'm not going to because i can't sing so this is gonna sit proudly on my shelf with my magic crystal shower scrub and i just can't wait to use it the other thing i'm gonna stick with mother's day shower just to not confuse you guys and the first naked product is rosemary milkshake soap if you guys remember last year they released rosemary milkshake but it was an actual soap that you weigh and cut and it had little raspberry seeds on the top this year they stuck with the theme of having the name of the fruit as the shape. I'm gonna put this on my soap dish after I film this video because I'm so excited to use it. It literally is a raspberry. It is so, it's much more creamy because you've got almond milk in there and you do have fresh raspberry juice. It smells like a childhood raspberry yogurt, which I used to love. Raspberry yogurt was like my favorite thing to eat as a kid and it just smells so good it's been really nice 
and like buttery in the skin, nourishing, cleansing, and all that goodness. And let me give you guys a close up. As you can see, it is in the shape of raspberry. It's so cute. And if you remember from my Valentine's haul, there was a strawberry whip soap which was in the shape of a strawberry. So I just love how Lush are getting into like the theme of fruit shapes this year. Oh, I could sniff this all freaking day. So the other two products I picked up was Strawberry Hill Shower Bomb, which is Mother's Day, and Beach Street Shower Bomb. And there is also two body scrubs, which are made from granulated sugar, and they're bunnies, so they're for Easter. And there's also carrot oil shower oil as well and I think that is it so I'm gonna show you strawberry hill so if you've never used a shower bomb before they just look like this and you literally just pour water from the shower onto it and it foams up and because you've got potato starch and sodium arginate which is basically seaweed it starts foaming and becomes a really lovely creamy lava and oh, it's the same scent as strawberry feels forever Massage bar, which I still have in my collection, even though it's discontinued, and uh, Defluff shaving soap. So, if you love the scent of strawberry and you're disappointed that Lush never do actual strawberry scented products, this is going to be your go to. The most exciting one is Beak Street, which is Easter. So, if you don't know, the Lush studio in Soho is on Beak Street, so that's why they named it like this, and it just looks like that. The colour gives away the scent very cleverly. It is like the Good Times Roll cleanser scented. And if you guys know, that is literally, legit, one of my favourite ever cleansers. So you've got loads of maize flour in there, the cinnamon as well, and oh, it just smells so freaking good. I think I actually might use this tonight, or strawberry heel. I don't know, I'm going to have to decide. In fact, let me give you guys a close up of both so you can see. Just look how pretty the strawberry one is. And Beak Street, I don't know what shape it's supposed to be, but yay. And you can leave these on the side to dry it and use them again. So you can probably get about like two, three showers out of each one. So it is a, like a one-off use, unlike the bath bombs. So yes, and that is all the shower. The, I'm going to start with the bubble bar because I actually love this. When I saw it, the first thing I thought, it looks like a cookie, a pink cookie. And it is called Girl Power. I can't remember the ingredients in here. I need to actually look at them. It's a very floral uplifting fragrance with a hint of warmth. And it literally looks like this. So it basically says Girl Power and it's so freaking cute. It is quite big actually, which is really good. And I could probably get about like two or three bars out of this, or if I'm feeling cheeky, one, because one whole bubble bar makes up mountains of bubbles. I'm not even joking. I just love the way they did it. I love bubble font, as you can tell by my whole channel from now and theme just being bubble font. I am going to start with the Mother's Day bath bombs, as I just did a Mother's Day bubble bar. And the first one, if you guys Remember, years ago they did a flaring tea bubble bar, which was looked like a tea bag and it was like a string. This one's very, very similar this year. It's called More Tea and Sympathy, and you've got loads of Neroni, there's bergamot in there, and blue cornflowers on the top. And this one's supposed to look like a teapot. It's so cute! I'll show you this side because it's a bit better. Look at it! Ah! And you've got a little sort of tea thing that says more tea and sympathy. Oh, it's a really grassy, uplifting floral smell. And inside, when it finishes fizzing, you have an actual old grey tea bag which is wrapped in muslin cloth, which is the same material that they use to wrap sojourns cold in bath mount. So you've got that flying around. I mean, not flying around, floating around in the bath. But this is so cute. I actually love it. I'm gonna save this for the era springtime. The other one is called Iris. So there's four of these. There's chamomile, jasmine, iris, and there's another one, but I can't remember it. But I think it's 
orange. And this one is pink and purple because those are my favourite colours. And oh, it's just really citrusy. Beautiful. Um, there's other ingredients on here. But the idea is, because it's a Mother's Day product, you have a roll of recycled paper inside which you can write a little note on to your mum and then you just pop it back in. And then when your mum puts it in the bath and it fizzes, the note sort of floats out and your mum can read what you put on the bar. Bomb. Sheep. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but just so pretty. And the design on it is so stunning. Just look how stunning the design is. It's so pretty and I can't wait to use it. And there's like a special type of powder. I will let you guys know in the description box below when I find out, but it's like a foaming agent. So it's also a bubble bath bomb, if you get what I mean. You get loads of bubbles and it's really creamy and moisturizing in the water. And then the next one, of course, is a returning favorite. You also got Incredible Mom as well, which came out last year, but this is my favorite one. It is Madam President. Yes. So you got grapefruit, that's great. So it's really sharp and zesty. And I just love it. It's so pretty in the water. It's stunning. You get so many colors in there. And it's just one of my favorites. And just look how pretty the design is. I I can't even, like, I'm so excited to use this. I'm gonna probably make this the first one out of all of these that I bought the other day, my first bowl. And the other ones are actually Easter. I'm not gonna take this one out of the bag because it is like, very messy, like, so messy. And you can probably guess what it is because it comes out every single year, but it's the same scent as Honey Wash Kids, and of course, this golden egg. Look at it. It goes absolutely everywhere. Um, I'm going to save this for my Easter morning bath probably because it's just a classic lush Easter product. Um, I'd be so gutted if Lush didn't bring it back every single year. I don't want to say about it because it's an absolute classic. Okay, the other ones are probably the most exciting ones because they're actually bath bombs which are two bath bombs in one so it makes a little animal and bird so the first one is actually returning but they've just decided to do one color this year and it is free rangers it's the same set as comforter and it's so cute i choose the one that looks probably the most normal because all the others are so angry because the powder was going over the eye <laughs> and it was so hilarious but such a really nice berry scent. I'm probably gonna buy a comfortable blah, blah, blah to use with this in the future, but it's so cute and you literally just pop it off like that. If you wanted to, you, in theory, you could put a little maybe a little chocolate Easter egg in here if it's a gift for someone, and that would be such a cute idea if they lifted it up and there's like a little extra surprise in there. But yeah, it's just so cute and I can't wait to use this in the water. And then the other thing is actually new for this year and there's two ones. If you remember the bonbons from Christmas, there was Princess Snowman and Santa. This year, for spring and Easter, they've done a lamb and a bunny. Of course, I had to get the bunny because it's Honey and Wash the Kids scented again. And if you like golden egg, but you don't actually like golden egg, but you like it because of the fragrance, definitely get the bunny and it is so freaking cute like its head reminds me of the one of the Gromit bunnies if you ever seen Wallace and Gromit in the Curse of the Were Rabbit all the little bunnies are so freaking cute and I feel like Lush modeled this bunny on those little bunnies so you got a little body and then you got the little bunny head oh my god look at him screaming and it actually has popping candy in as well so when you put him in the water it's really loud so it's like a whole bath of rice krispies without the wet soggy cereal <laughs> smells so delicious as well and he was 10 pounds but you get two baths out of it so it's technically a normal price bath form because it's five pound a bath form really <laughs> 
but I don't know. I don't want to use him though because he's so cute. I feel mean if I put him in the bath, but yeah. So that is everything I bought from the Velma Day and Easter collection. There is a lot more flower bath bombs from Mother's Day and like I said there's a lamb bomb bomb. I think there is oh I can't remember what else. There's little like fun eggs as well. So it's kind of like which came first but it's already separated and you get a little character like a dinosaur or a bunny or a chick and it's made of fun which is really cute and there's rose bombshell but as an egg and you have loose Epsom salts and rose petals so I was going to buy that one but my store didn't have them in yet for some reason but so I'm going to probably go back later and stock up some more but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video got inspiration for what you wanted to pick up yourself from Lush for the spring collections and yeah do give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell below to get updates on next upload and I hope my voice didn't annoy you with its croakiness because it was annoying me <laughs> but I got through it but yeah have a lovely rest of your weekend and I will see you next time for another video goodbye